Hello, today's a budget shave, but what am I going to use? I'll see you after the title to find out. I'm going to try something today that I've not tried before, not whilst I've been wet shaving anyway. Um, I'm going to be using shave cream as I can't get on with the uh, Williams mug soap. I've got uh, Williams shaving cream which I got from a, uh, a trade on the buy sell trade. The razor I'm going to be using is the Mule R89 with uh, the Wilkerson blade Wilkerson or Gillette Wilkerson blade which are you know, blades you can get uh, from about 15 pence right up to a pound obviously the razor pays for itself in the long run as I said, it's a, just a sort of a basic, basic shave, budget shave. I'm going to use my homemade aftershave, and uh, that's it. I'm not going to use a brush. I'm going to see if I can uh, lather my face um, with just my hands. So I've uh, just got out of the shower. Had the idea of doing this but that uh, listened to the brush and soap and blade podcast last night with uh, Rick DeWeese and he actually mentioned that uh, you know using a shave cream on the face without a brush you know if you're traveling you've forgotten your brush or uh, you know you've forgotten your brush and you can't find anywhere that uh, sells shaving brushes Just uh, apply it to the face and face lather. Obviously, it's not going to be a, an outstanding lather like uh, with, with a brush. But um, there's a lot of creams out there that are, uh, are sort of brushless. Just got out of the shower, so last time I went without a brush is when I was uh, cartridge shaving. You just put the goo on your face and uh, start shaving. It's a long weekend for a lot of people this weekend. I finished work uh, early hours this morning. See, it's not not a great lather, but it's a lather all the same. It's got a nice scent to it, this uh, Williams. This I've not got a lot of uh, stuff to use as a budget shave. So I went to a supermarket this morning, bought another uh, tube of palm olive and this is the uh, the box for the, the Williams and it's the other side the person I bought it off I think he said he got it from somewhere in Europe so let's uh, make a start Three days of growth. Mm. 
you know, one element of wet shaving is for me that I love is the uh, obviously the brush and uh, creating that lather. If you're uh, just starting out in wet shaving, and you don't know if you're gonna sort of where it's gonna go, if you're gonna like it or not, get yourself a razor. It doesn't have to be this razor. You can get the. Uh, Wilkinson Classic Razor, which is about five pounds, I think. And the uh, tube of shaving cream, which is, as I said, a couple of pounds, or shaving stick, which is about 50p, the uh, palm olive. So for a beginner, I'd obviously get a cream. If you're sort of just starting wet shaving, you know, creating that lather can take a little while to master. My uh, son stole my uh, lavanil soap again this week, so. Um, He's been saying he's not getting a, a good lather, so um, I'll be helping him this weekend to dial that in and uh, loading the blade into a razor. At the moment he's just sort of uh, learning to hold the razor and uh, learn how to stretch his skin and it's a good first pass. A little bit of slickness there. Yep. Obviously with a uh, cream you don't need too much water. So I'll just uh, pause here, uh, wash my face off, get some fresh water in the sink and I'll be back in a second. Back again. Obviously when you're using cream like this and you're not using a brush, obviously you, each, each pass you do you've got to go back and uh, like I've just done, got some a little bit more of uh, the cream. But, uh, as Rick said in his podcast, you're not going to have a, uh, a brush at the end full of uh, lather that you're going to have to rinse down the sink. But 
and said that you, you know you you're using maybe a little bit more doing it this way than you would actually loading the brush. cushion here but you've got you know, good sort of layer of slickness across the grain. Thanks for all the uh, comments in the last video, or the last few videos. I really enjoy uh, replying to them. Not long now before I get to the thousand subscribers. I've got about eight, eight to go, something like that. for a meal. The uh, in-laws are back from a holiday so they suggested they're going to take us out for a meal. Saturday night, or tonight when you're watching this, we're going um, temping bowling again. The wife uh, booked us a lane. shave I want to do sort of against the grain on the face There's a nice amount of slickness there still. Don't think we uh, worry too much about wastage, do we? No, we got, I'm sure most of us have got. Clean your soaps and creams.
I think I just cut my chin there. It's always the case, you get so far in the, in the shave, you think, yeah, it's a good shave. I'll just do a bit more. And then uh, go and catch yourself. I felt like I caught myself anyway. A little bit there, yeah. We'll be doing much shaving on in the month of April. I decided to grow a beard. True, true. Not fake news. I've been contacted by someone who does uh, sort of post shave products. So I've got to do a video on that. Which I'm going to look forward to. I've been sent uh, a few items to, uh, to review. Yeah, look, there. Yeah. So uh, look out for that video, hopefully I can do that uh, within the next couple of days. So uh, excited to bring those to you. Right, so I'll just pause here and uh, see if I need to bleh, sort that out and I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back for the post shave, what there is of it. I'll just use a little bit of the uh, Prozo Styptic Gel. Sort out of my chin there. But, uh, nice close shave. Skin feels nice. So uh, yeah, recommend you try and uh, a shaving cream without a brush. So just give the uh, aftershave a shake. It's got uh, alcohol, witch hazel, alum, uh, menthol, tea tree. All that good stuff. Yeah, nice little burn. Again, this sort of initial outlay for making this homemade aftershave is a bit, you know, just sort of paying out for uh, everything. But again, like the razor, sort of pays you back in the long run. Get a nice burn and then you get the cooling effect from the from the menthol. So uh, if you're having a, an extended holiday, uh, extended weekend, hope you enjoy it. Get up to some nice things with your family and friends, and uh, have some great shaves. As I said, uh, an extra video will be going out within the next day or so, so uh, to review those products. So uh, have some uh, great shaves. Have a great weekend, as I said. Uh, thanks for your, for your subscriptions, really appreciate, appreciate it, and uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed so far then please do so and uh, click on the bell icon for future notifications uh, for new videos and uh, see you next time. Cheers, bye. Yeah.